Last week I gave you a little homework. I asked you to go to Dribble and find a layout and break the layout down in molecular and atomic widgets that we have learned in the last two videos. Honestly, I wasn't planning on getting any entries from you folks, but I got five. Four of them was actually from the same person who really enjoyed the process of breaking down layouts. So shout out to you, Ayurish. And I also got some really nice comments in the last video. So as a ritual, I'm going to shout out to all of you lovely people. So today I'm going to look at only three entries as I promised and I'm going to correct the mistakes and maybe you as an audience can also learn from these mistakes. And by the way, if you're new here, do watch the previous videos because this is more of a continuation from the last videos. And if you like content on Flutter, mobile development in general or how to grow as a developer, this is a channel that you might like. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So this first breakdown is by Aditya Thakur. So basically the first parent vision you have identified is a column which seems fine because everything is placed one after another in the vertical axis. Now the first child would be a, a molecular widget which is going to be broken down according to you is under column and then according and then it is further broken down into text and bell. So what you have here is you have a search your book and then you have an icon with bell. So now you have identified this as a two text which is under a column and this as an icon. But technically this can actually be just one text and uh, this could be an icon. So we can definitely make this probably something like a row which is going to uh, have a text and which is going to have an icon or an image or whatever you like so that's the first thing and then you have uh, a row tags which is fine and i guess there is a text here which is also fine now if we all now if you look at this part which is basically going to be a row again which is identified right so if this is going to be row but your child is a container and i did not understand that part so this so this row would technically have actually two columns in a way so two column in a way and those are further divided into uh, an icon uh, text and text so I guess this was not complete or maybe you had a little gap in, in understanding the design but I believe this is how the final thing will look like. Now moving on to the second one by Iolish. So here you basically have the parent widget as a stack and that may be not required here because the background is in a way white so there is nothing that these elements are coming on top of or behind in any case so therefore uh, a stack is definitely not required in this case this could just be a normal color and definitely the first one is image which is right and then you have the column uh, here uh, which is divided into text and text which is also right and then comes this part which is your row which is absolutely right because this is divided in this way and you have mentioned here is that your first child of the row is an icon and the second and third child is a column so that's where i think there is one mistake is that definitely the first child is an icon that's completely right but the second child is just one column that is further that is further divided by text and text so remember that if you are trying to put a molecular widget like column and row they need to have some children if they don't have any children they basically are uselessly used so in this case column was supposed to have two children which is text and text and that is probably something that you might have missed in your design rest of the thing seems fine this is basically a duplicate so let's move on to the next one this is also by the same person so here also there is stack which is probably not required it can just become a column and then you have like a column which is 
डिवाइडेड इंटू टेक्स 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 टेक्निकली दिस कुड बी जस्ट वन टेक्स दैट इज डिवाइडेड इंटू थ्री न्यू लाइन्स बट योर अप्रोच इज ऑल्सो नॉट दैट रॉन्ग एज वेल सो मूविंग ऑन देर इज दिस इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट विच इज द मॉड्यूल विच इज द मॉड्यूल मून एंड द डे सेवन नाउ एज आई सी हियर यू बेसिकली मेड इट एज लाइक ग्रो विच इज टेक्स 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 नाउ टेक्निकली इफ दैट is your structure it would have looked like module moon day 7 so this is how it would have looked like if this is the actual structure that you're thinking of but here is what we have you basically have a module and then be below it there is a moon so they are placed vertically one after another and then you also have day and seven also placed one after another vertical axis but this is where it goes interesting how to decide the parent widget for this entire thing should it be a row should it be a column because if i want i can break this down into a column children like this or i can do row children like this so now the question comes in hey should my parent widget be a row or a column where the possibility here is really both and in this situation what i usually do is that i figure out which of these components cannot exist with one another so what i mean is here is that now can you imagine a design situation where module and day are existing without moon and seven it's highly impossible in that case it's definitely possible to have a situation where mo where module and moon is existing but day 7 is not existing they just decided not to show that uh, metric on that uh, screen so i feel like the elements that exist together needs to be under the same parent widget or same molecular widget so seems like uh, having so seems like having this as column would be a bad approach but having this as row makes more sense so so this so this would be a row which is going to get divided into column and column and this column is finally going to get divided into text and text and that is how this should uh, be corrected into and the rest is like image which makes sense column that is divided into text and text also makes sense so that all seemed fine so that's all for today thank you so much for sending these entries for the hashtag breakdown layout series and if you have a suggestion for a screen that you want me to break down on our next video do send them on the comments below and i will incorporate them as much as possible in the next set of videos i don't know when they will come but they will come definitely for sure because i know a lot of people have loved these series and please do share it with your friends who might be getting some benefit from these videos who are also struggling with breaking down layouts in a declarative framework like flutter so and thank you so much for your support i will see you in the next video